reliability test in both SPSS and Excel using the Chromebox Alpha based on ANOVA table for Likert scale questionnaire or survey. Reliability test in SPSS using Chromebox Alpha for Likert scale questionnaire or a survey. Reliability test measures the internal consistency of items. It does measure whether the questionnaire is consistent and reliable and reproducible if the same items or questions repeated at different, different time and date for, for the same group of participants, their responses or outcome will be similar. So it is a way of evaluating the questionnaire or a survey to determine whether the questionnaire is reliable or not. There are several different ways to do the reliability test based on Chromebox Alpha and in this uh, one I'm going to show you how to do it through using the ANOVA table in SPSS. Here in this SPSS data view I had inserted data taken from a questionnaire and their responses of the participant uh, for answering 20 questions or items were rec recorded and inserted based on the five Likert scale from one to five. One represent strongly disagree and five means strongly agree and a value of three represent a neutral response. So this data here are ordinal data. And to determine the reliability of the questionnaire or the survey, we're going to determine the value for the Chromebox Alpha. The way to determine that value is to use the ANOVA table. If we click on Analyze, scroll down to Scale, then select the Reliability Analysis. I'm going to reset this. I'm going to select the items we need to check the reliability for. So from item number 1 to item number 20, so select the items by clicking on control A, then deselect the ID, drag it into the box labeled items. We still use the Chromebox Alpha here, but if we click on the statistics, I'm going to use this section here in the reliability analysis statistics window, uh, sections showing ANOVA table and I'm going to click on the F test to get the ANOVA table and leave the rest unticked. If I click on continue and then click on OK, again tables will be generated and as we can see here, the software has already calculated the reliability for the questionnaire from Bax Alpha which is equal to 0.81. In the third table here, a NOVA called ANOVA table, there are few important value in that table for the mean square. We're going to calculate and determine the alpha from the alpha value from this ANOVA table based on, on two important value, the mean square for the between people and the value for the mean square between residuals, i.e. error in this case. 
and the way to determine the alpha value from ANOVA is to use these values so first we need a calculator and if we click on the calculator here we're going to calculate the alpha value by inserting 1 minus the value for the mean square of residual or error so 1 minus 1.111 1 then divide that by the value for the mean square of between people which is 5.981 and if you click on equal sign a value of 0 0.814 is generated this is the value for the Cronbach's alpha, which is exactly the same value here, Cronbach's alpha. This value of 0.81 means that the questionnaire is 81% reliable. To cross-reference this value into the table given here for the Cronbach's alpha and reliability level, any alpha value of point that is equal to 0.9 or greater then the reliability will be excellent a questionnaire that have a value between 0.8 and 0.89 have a good reliability a questionnaire that is considered to be acceptable in reliability have a value of alpha between 0.7 and 0.79 a survey that have a alpha value between 0.6 to 0.69 have a questionable reliability and a survey will have a poor reliability if the alpha value is between 0.5 and 0.59 and a questionnaire that have a value of alpha less than 0.5 will be considered unacceptable or unreliable so this is the way to perform a reliability test for a questionnaire or a survey based on Cronbach's alpha using ANOVA table in SPSS. Reliability test in Excel using the Cronbach's alpha based on ANOVA table for Likert scale questionnaire or a survey reliability test will measure the internal consistency of items and do determine whether the questionnaire is reliable or not by producing a alpha value that ranges from zero to one zero means that the survey is unreliable and one means that the questionnaire is a hundred percent reliable the test will measure whether the questionnaire if it has been repeated on different time and date with the same group or subgroup of the participant their responses will be similar in both different occasions in this excel sheet i had inserted a data taken from the responses of 20 participant answering and giving their opinion on 20 different items or questions and their opinions was scored on a five point likert scale from one to five one means that the participant is strongly disagreeing and five means that the participant is strongly agreeing and a value of three 
represent a neutral response to evaluate and assess the quality of this questionnaire by performing a reliability test the value of the Chromepax Alpha can be determined here in this Excel sheet using ANOVA table and the way to do that is to click on data here and then click on the data analysis icon if you don't have this icon there are I have produced a video clip that shows you how to insert these data analysis once you click on this icon a window will appear and we are going to select the analysis of ANOVA two factor without replication if we click on OK another window will appear and in this window we're going to select the input range of the data for the input range we're going to select this range including the labels of each data so we're going to include the labels and I'm going to produce the output in to uh, a new worksheet keep it as it is selected here if we click on OK a new sheet is generated for the two factor ANOVA two factor without replication what is interesting in this two uh, parts is the second part here for ANOVA specifically for these two values for the mean square for the rows and the mean square for the error and the way to calculate the alpha value here is in this cell type alpha and then next to it select the cell insert equal sign and then insert a value of 1 minus the mean square of the value for the error divided by the mean square value for the rows and if you click on enter a value of 0.81 is generated for alpha if i'm going to reduce this a little bit reducing the decimal point what does this value means it means that the questionnaire or the survey is 81 percent reliable if i go back again to the sheet one here we have a table reference table showing the chromepax alpha value and its level of reliability so if the value was equal to 0.9 or greater then the reliability is excellent a value of 0.8 to 0.89 indicate a good reliability and the value of 0.7 to 0.79 represent a, an acceptable reliability a questionnaire that have a value of alpha between 0.6 and 0.69 is a questionable in reliability and a survey will be poor in reliability if the value between 0.5 and 0.59 and the questionnaire will be unacceptable or unreliable if the value is less than 0.5 so this is the way to do reliability test in Excel based on ANOVA table.